Well, good hot hump day to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home in the sticks. Oh, the mercy. I hope everybody's having a showing off good Wednesday, but I'm here to tell you, if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over, thank y'all for coming back. But what I wanted to share with you and y'all today on this rather hot Wednesday, I'm fitting to put some maters in the ground. If you ain't from the South, that's tomatoes. So give me a second and that's what we finna do. All right, let the mater planting begin. There's all my maters. I probably should have up potted these guys by now, but that's cool. Uh, we're just gonna put them in the ground. Have several different uh, species growing here. They look okay. Probably look even better if I'd have up potted them, but we'll just roll with it. Let's go to these 16 foot raised beds. Uh, this year, trying something uh, really different. I'm not planting my maters where I normally plant them. Putting them here in the 16 foot raised bed on this trellis system. And another thing that I, I experimented with, with this year, I didn't harden these mater plants off. Had them in the shack under the grow lights with the fans. Fans hopefully got these plants stronger. And uh, they kind of look stronger. But I'm gonna start off with some purple heart maters. We're gonna get those in the ground to begin with. There's my hole and I'm really gonna plant, I'm gonna plant these maters real deep. And I'll probably start off by adding a little bit of 10, 10, 10 into the hole just to give them roots something to feed on once these plants get up. And I'll probably just put something like that up in there maybe. Maybe another little handful. Maybe two tablespoons. And I'll throw a little bit of soil back in there. We don't want these roots to come into direct contact with that fertilizer. Here's my purple heart mater. See if we can't get this baby out of there. Roots look good. We're gonna plant this guy deep. So let's fill it on in. Now, what I most of the time I do not show is, but on my mater plants, what I normally do after I get them in the ground is I mulch them in and give a give these plants a good watering. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. Really simple. Just add some mulch around the plant. And I use uh, just easy straw, mulch around this plant. And the concept behind this is this plant's gonna go up, hit this trellis, and get its grow on. So I'll probably add more mulch to these plants during the week, but that's basically what it looks like. And give these guys a little shot of water. Okay, Diane, should be should you be watering it like this? Probably not. Uh, should water these guys in the late evening or real early morning. But this is just for demonstration purposes. I think this guy will be all right. So we got the first made of plant in the ground. Yes, Lord. So let me go on and get the rest of these maters in the ground. And I'll bring you back and show you what it looked like. It's a little warm out here today. So uh, be right back with y'all. All right, y'all, a couple of hours later and 16 mater plants later, let me show you what I done did. All right, there we go. 16 mater plants on the trellis system. I have uh, three purple heart maters, some chocolate cherries. I got some fucos. You know y'all. And I have some Amanda oranges. I have four of those set out. And a couple of yellow pears. They looking kind of, they kind of in shock right now. But that's okay. Hopefully they will pull through. The sun's went down. And I give them a little bit of water. Mulch them in. I'll probably add some more mulch as the week goes on. But they're in the ground. I also planted out some... Russian mammoth sunflowers. I love sunflowers, so I put one right here and I put one over yonder in the other corner. 
Lord. Yeah, I, I guess as I get older, I get slower because I, I could have had these made of plants in, in, in about, I don't know, 45 minutes, but I had to take some breaks. 16 foot row of maters on this trellis system. What I also did is, uh, you and y'all know, I'm a, I'm a really big fan of container gardening, but I'm gonna show you this over here. I didn't realize I actually started so many mater plants. I have some mater plants over there on that mule. And I'm gonna send them my, my Uncle Pete. He's gonna put some maters out over at his house. I had this big planter, so I pulled it out. I already had soil in it, I just amended it a little bit, but I planted out three yellow grapes in here. I'm not a really big fan of tomato cages, but I might put a cage in here as these guys grow right here. I also planted out three Russian mammoth sunflowers in this planter right there. <laughs> we'll see what they'll do. All right, Grace is almighty. Got plenty of other stuff to do. I gotta take my garbage out. Tomorrow's garbage day. Again, I hope everybody's having a show enough good Wednesday and I hope y'all having a safe one. If you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up, they help. If you haven't subscribed to the Homeless Sticks channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over and give me a look because I'm always doing stuff, really. With that being said, you know it's coming. Dan Reference show enough, always gonna say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. And I mean nobody. You show enough to get your shine on, get your garden on. And then we'll see you and y'all in the next video.